And that, Dante, is the reason you'll make your bed. <laughs> in the future. <laughs> There'll be a time where someone comes to visit. The bed will be made. And that person and that person will leave. Okay. Okay. I'm not sharing the screen. I thought it was before before I left I shared. There's something wrong with my property anymore. You guys haven't seen that, that before? Yeah, same as above. So instead of, instead of writing numbers of elements in set, you just go like that, the word above, the word above, the word above, the word above. Oh, and then it's just action set. Yeah. Okay, can I scroll off the first, the terminology part? Okay. So... Sorry. Sorry. I thought I had my screen share before. There you go. So a set is the group of items within uh, with something in common, right? Elements, the number of elements within each set, and the null set is when it has zero, not when there's nothing in the set. Okay. Some of you haven't seen this short form before. This here, like the two marks like that, just means it's the same word as above. So instead of writing numbers of elements in set over and over again, you just make two dots underneath like that, or two marks, and it just means the word above. One of the things I can recommend before, like as you go off to university is, and hopefully your other teachers I didn't really understand like shortening words until I got to like grade 11, grade 12, and then the teacher started to write their notes on the board like this, right? Do you guys know what that word is? No. Pardon? Solution. N like that, it just means T-I-O-N, right? And then you get used to like writing with, you just write that and that's the word with. And like there's another one, I think like I this is wood. I don't know which one's which, I forget. Yeah, I think with, with is the yeah. one But like solution would be written like that. So as you're writing notes in university, because they don't ask if you're done, you have to figure out how to, well, what we're looking at now, they might post their notes. Back in my day, they would just like put it up there and you'd be just a mad scramble to write everything down. Yeah, that's because that's cause profs aren't paid to be teach. They're paid to do research. P professors are paid to do research and they teach on the side. They're paid, they're paid to learn. Okay. So, they research and then they teach it to you. Well, they, no. No, but professors get paid to do research and publish under the university's name, essentially. But as part of that criteria, they also teach courses. But not all of them put in the effort to uh, learn how to teach effectively. Yeah, we're still paying $20,000 to get their Correct. knowledge. Correct. Yep. buy the book. Okay. <laughs> For about 100 bucks. So, if we take a look here, set A. And we've done this before. N bracket, the letter, is the number in the set. Correct? We did this last week. So if you take a look at set A, the number of elements in set A is five, right? The number of elements in set X is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the number of elements in set W is infinite, right? And why is it infinite? Because the three dot says it's just going to keep going and going and going. Where? Under the five. 
That's a that's a six, right here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So everyone everyone knows that part. Uh, Regan, are you good if I flip? Yep. This is mostly going to be review, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. So subsets. Okay. The diagram in blue is different from what's in uh, purple up top. Okay. If I were to draw a diagram of a subset, it would look like this. So I have a big circle here with A in there, and B is inside. Does that make sense? Let me see if I can draw that bigger. So this is my Venn diagram for subsets. I have a big circle, which will represent set A. Then I have a circle inside of it that would represent set B. Because all the elements in B are in A. So it's a subset. Does that make sense, everyone? Okay. Now, if we remember from our last lesson this morning, the complement is everything that's not in the set we're, we're looking at, right? So if we look at set A, the complement is everything that's not in set A. Does that make sense to people? What does DIFLB is? Um, here's a question for you. What's the complement to the student? All right. What's the if the set I'm dealing with are the students in my class right now? Could you describe in words the complement to this class? What's the complement to this class? Yeah. But, but um, KJ said the complement to this class would be Miss Thornburg's class. Or every other class in this school would also be a complement to this class since they're not part of this class. So when you look at this diagram here with like the A, right? The complement of A is everything that's not in that Venn diagram, okay? Which would be the total number of options, okay? Yes, Nick? Oh, as in it's in A and in B. So if you look at the diagram right here, the numbers, whatever is in here, is in both of them. So it's the intersection. It's just like we did intersection last uh, time. They're in both. Yes, Dante? Um, for the A, is that an A1 or an A apostrophe? Right here? Yeah. It's A apostrophe, okay. as in the complement. Yeah. A, it's A complement.
And thanks to you, Jenny Cassandra gets a boff whenever I get to the grocery store. Yeah. Okay. You get a boff because you did something nice without being asked today. Yeah, she wrote your note when you went to the bathroom. <laughs> but she still did it. So we work with con with uh, intersection as well. So far. Who's using those sweaters for getting boss? So you using those sweaters for getting boss? You get candy or a sweater? Who gave you that? What? Who gave you a candy or sweater? Oh. I never got a boss, but I had nice things to do every day. Am I okay to go down, go, Regan? Go Regan. Game, game never recognized game. Yeah. <laughs> I did, I did go to the coffee breakfast, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, you guys have done unions before, right, that are in both. We talked about unions last week. Everyone put your pens down for a second so I can explain this piece. Megan? Here, the formula, if you remember, the union, to figure out the union between them, is a number that's in A, the number is B, but then you have to minus off A union B, I mean A intersect B. You have to minus off this section, because those numbers are already been counted in these here. Does that make sense? Sorry, say that again. <laughs> okay, let's say, for example, in this case, the number that are in, in A is 10. The number that's in B is 15. The number that's in A intersect B is 5. Okay? So in this case, like this would be 5, right? Yep. In there. Um, the way we figure out the total of A union B is it would be the number of A union B would equal 10 plus 15 minus 5. Because that 5 there has been counted twice. Okay? So just make sure you know that part. So the answer there would be 20. Uh, yeah, 20. Okay, because those, those, that extra 5 has been counted twice. Yeah. Okay. And then the last part is mutually exclusive. Right? That means there's no intersection between them if they're mutually exclusive. So therefore, A intersect B equals zero. I can't say that. Can't what? I, 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 I thought of an uh, example of a mutually exclusive thing, but I can't say it. Say it. I dare you. You dare me? I doubled, I tripled all here. You okay. So, in the future, future mates who dislike beds being messy, and Dante will be a, will be a mutually exclusive set, because there'd be no intersection of those groups. Does that make sense to everybody? As in. If there's a mate out there, a future possible mate for Dante that requires a clean bedroom or a made bed. I'll have to adapt. And Dante, adapt I told you something would change, right? It's like your son. You run the Zoom call, you have to make his bed. So yep. I I, no one's coming in at my bed is in a showroom. <laughs> I'll go in there and I sleep. Okay, <laughs> I, I said mate, I didn't. My showroom? Anyways, so mutually exclusive, two things that are, aren't going to intersect. Okay? It's kind of important sometimes to recognize that mutual exclusion, because then you, you get to recognize there's no intersection between them. That's fine. I was just describing that question. Do you seriously think there was a girl out there that's going to turn Dante down and make his bed? Yeah. 
They got more problems than I can't say what I feel about that. In, in my in my history, in my not my history. In, in my uh, experience slash through, there's lots of reasons why someone will turn down someone. So. No. How would I say this? I don't want to say sadly, but I've only had two girlfriends in my life. So. There's nothing. And the one. Hopefully. <laughs> my wife was my second girlfriend. Good. Eileen Moriarty, who was her best friend. But they're still friends. 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 <laughs> so. The player, I've had two girlfriends. <laughs> and the one the, her best and, and and I I stopped going out with one because basketball season was coming up and I So sorry, you broke up with her Like seven years later. <laughs> okay. Shh. Write down this this part here is important here. Added a principle for, for probabilities. The probability of A or B occurring is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. Okay? Let's But well, this would be a way of like working with Venn diagrams without having to make the whole Venn diagram. Oh, I understand. Don't mean a range. I printed the last note out because I know your energy would be down. Okay, here we go. Survey of 100 grade 12 mathematics students in, in St. James had the following 80 taking data, 33 taking calculus, 68 taking functions, 50 taking data and functions, 30 taking data and calculus. Six are taking, are taking functions and calculus, and five are taking all three courses. Okay. Remember how we have to minus off them, right? Correct. I agree. No, no, no. Well, I think we should make this Venn diagram then. Before, before we start, I want you to make the Venn diagram. Yeah, actually put it down here, but don't look there. Put it down here, don't look. I need a solution, there's a lot of space for it. But I'll do it up here as well, to kind of help guide you through. This is a three-part Venn diagram? Correct. Data, calculus, functions. Wow, it's a very easy start Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 yeah, perfect. Oh, <laughs> 
So how do we build this from where to where? So I ask. But you start from the middle. Well, first of all, KJ's right. We need to label data. It doesn't matter which way you go. Okay. Then what do we do as we go out? We subtract. Good. So if we take a look at data and calculus, we have 30. So what number is going to go in here? 25. 30 minus 5. Because these people are already counted. Like these five people are already part of this group. Right? So between data and functions, data and functions is 50. And we'll do that. I'm just working around. And one. And then we go to data. Data has 80 people in it. So 80 minus. Right. So you said five? So because all 80 is this really big circle. The calculus has 33 people. 17. It's two, and two there. Because all that should add up to 33. And then... Where's our last one? 17. Look the same. Now we could use a Venn diagram, which we which we did, okay. Which we made here. So, how many students are enrolled in calculus and vectors and no other math courses? Two. Two. Those people there are exclusively in that section. How many students are enrolled in data? And there's that key term we're looking for here, or calculus and vectors. Uh, you have this one too, right? Yeah, so we could add this circle here, right? With, essentially we're doing the union of these two circles. So we add all the numbers up within here. Does that make sense? That should add up to 83. Yeah, because data was 80, correct? And then two, three. Ça va? For an indirect route, if there's a hundred, and then you found, like, first if you found yeah. Or you could, you could look at that 17 and minus off. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. So, who said they hated making a Venn diagram? Okay, then let's do it using the equation we just wrote down. What was the equation you wrote down? So let's, I'm going to rewrite this, but in our own language, right? So the probability of data union with calculus equals the probability of data plus the probability of calculus minus the probability of data intersecting with calculus. Does everyone understand what I just wrote? Yep, that's but what that means, it'll make more sense, Bella, once I write in the numbers. How many people out of 100 people, how many students are taking data? 80. 80. Oh. How many students are taking calculus? 33. 33. How many students are taking data and calculus? And there's our answer. Really? 
Why are you yep. gonna tell us this last unit? <laughs> <laughs> it's like an onion. So the, 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 the U at the end of this equation is the intersection. Intersection. So what is that one again? This one? Yeah. Union. Union, yeah, is them together. Okay. So union is all of this. Okay? The intersection is this. Okay? So there is it written out. I did it up top just for fun. Okay? So, um, if we keep going here, what's the, uh, if we randomly selected a student from a group of students, from the group of students, what would be the probability that the student selected is enrolled only in calculus? But well, we did that one, right? How many students are only enrolled in calculus? No, only in calculus was two. So two over, right? We had two successes, right? Two success. How many total options are there of students to pick from? No, 100 total students were, if you go back, 100 total students were surveyed, correct? No, this is the first question. So this is how many are only in calculus O and vectors. You know how the very first question was two out of? Yeah. Now in this case, data or calculus was 83. We found 83 people, correct? And how many total people are there that we was part of the Venn diagram, for lack of a better term? Was 100. Now if it was like, what if we did like um, 200 people? What number would go on the bottom? What if we surveyed 200 students? 200, right. So you're going to have to pay attention to what the total is. Once you've done that, I want you to write this out for me in your solutions area there. I almost gave it to you as a photocopy, but I chose not to. Okay. To write, that out. write that out real quick. This will be something that you'll yell at me about. Um, this is the sum of two dice. So if I rolled two dice and figured out the sum total of it, of the dice. So what this is describing here on the left hand side is if, like, pretend I have two different colored dice. I have a green die and a red dice. Okay, so if I roll the green one and a red one, see where those two, they come together here and it makes a total of two? If I roll a green five and a red four, you follow those two lines together and you get to nine. Can I get a thumbs up? thumbs down right now if you understand how to read this chart. Thumbs up if you know how to read the chart. Do you know how to read the chart? No, go one more time. Okay. So, let's say I roll with the red dice, I roll a three. Okay. With the green dice, what do, you, what do you want me to roll? Five. Five. So if I go up here, see where it intersects? Five and three. You My go up five and then over three. Yeah. Yeah, the middle's addition, yeah. But just a quick way to total everything, but then you can see patterns and, and pick out numbers real quick. Okay? And there's 36 different options of totals that you could get using dice. Right? There's 30 different, different combinations that would give you totals. Um, if we keep getting questions along this, I might just print you off uh, a copy of this, right? So it's easy to access, easy to look at. This might be something that you like make and just keep keep somewhere to make sure you can reference it.
don't do the markings that are on there yet. Unless you did, and then they'll... If you did, you did. It'll come back in the total. Newish. Okay. He'll come up. Alright. Alright. So if I roll two dice, a red and a green, right? They just use red and green so you could decipher, like, oops. It doesn't really matter that they name a red and green, right? There's my green dice. And do I have a red? I do have a red. And here's my red dice. So this is more of a visual for you. Okay. What's the probability? Um, a total of two or a total of 12 occur. So if I roll the dice, what's the probability of getting a two or a 12? Looking at this chart, can someone tell me? How many ways can I make a 2 and how many ways can I make a 12? Pardon? So, 2 over 36. Good. Right? Uh, yeah. So, 2 over 36 for A. Now, realistically, if we were using the formula here, the probability of rolling, oh, right up here in my language, right? The probability of rolling a, a two, probability of rolling a two plus the probability of rolling a 12 minus the intersection of one and 12. So how many ways can I make a, a two? One over 36. How many ways can I make a 12? 1 over 36, minus how many ways can I make a 12 and a 1 that are the same? In this case, it's 0, right? Which equals 2 over 36. Now, you say, why did I do that explanation when it's clear 2 over 36? It's setting up for the next one. Okay? How about if I roll a... I want to roll a four or a pair. What's the probability of rolling a four or a pair? So let me do my chart here again. I'll switch my colors. So the probability of rolling a four plus the probability of rolling a double. Let's name that D. Now, hypothetically, I would want you to like let like probability A be this, probability B be this, but for visual right now, that's why I'm doing this. Minus the probability of doing where four and a double intersect. So how many ways can I roll a four? If I look at my chart. Three over 36, good. How many, ro how many ways can I roll a double? One, two, three, four, five, six. Does that make sense? A one and a one, a two and a two, a three and a three, four and a four, five and a five, and six out of six. So that's six over 36. Is there any of those that overlap? Can I make a double and a four? Many. One, this one. This is where these marks kind of come into play, right? The purple were, were fours, the blues were doubles. So I minus off one over 36 here to get my answer. Right? Which I don't equal eight over 36 or two over nine. Does that make sense? Pardon? Not yet? So, it's a total of two or a total of 12. No, total, so two or 12, correct. So what's the problem? 
probability of getting about that too. I thought that was question A. Yeah. OK. Now, if the exclusive Because since they're mutually exclusive, uh, if I, there we go. Since they're mutually exclusive, they're separate, right? They're not, they're not connected by any means, right? But since they're mutually exclusive, you could like the very first question was a mutually exclusive question. We minus off zero. If you want to minus off zero, go ahead and knock your boots off, right? But it's not necessary because they're not they're not going to intersect. Okay. If you guys really want one of these charts, I can go run them up. Yeah. How far do you need up, Megan? Let me take a look at your homework. You guys can get started on that. The big question, the big thing to look at is what word? Two letters? Or. Good. This is an or question. Okay. Later on today, we'll do an and question. We're going to have, you're going to have to pick out those little things. These are also in your, don't forget about your notes itself, where you can write the or, put all that in. How are we doing online, people? And would you guys like me to forward you? Oh, there we go. You probably can't see that. It's all messed up. But I looked up a sum of uh, two dice chart. Do you want me to uh, forward you a PDF of it so you can print it off? Okay. I will go photocopy this, and I'll PDF it. So let's take a look at our homework real quick, and I won't go to Adams. Let's go. I, oh, I already clicked on the king. Uh, there it is. So there's a question along the lines of. Just re remembering what intersection is, right? And difference between intersection and union, right? Which of these letters, P, Q, X, and Y, is mutually exclusive? Which one's mutually exclusive from the others? Pardon? Why? Why? Because it's not in the Venn diagram. Well, it's in the Venn diagram. Is it though? Yeah. It doesn't intersect with any other. Doesn't intersect with any other. This whole square, if it's inside the square, it's part of the Venn diagram, right? Because that's the universal set. Okay. Um, I found like this, you have to, I did these questions last night. Uh, actually, I have better understanding. Let's see how you guys do with them. I'm going to go photocopy this. Do you have a question regarding? That's all the homework? Yeah. You don't have any questions regarding numbers yet. So I'll hold off on getting this to you. I'll give everyone a little bit of head start, and then if there's anyone that wants to work through it together, we can.
How's the temperature in the room today? Cold. You're cold? You're cold? I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm chilling. I'm... Maybe I need to move you two from over there. No. No, I like the spot. It's perfect. <laughs> I'm wondering, like, it always seems that like people, like, in this wave right here, I don't know if it's just how the air comes in. You also yeah. don't have the fan that's pushing the air out long. No. That's... Oh, they accused me of blowing a fuse, so I'm hesitant to turn the fan off. This plug right here. But it was this plug, next door's plug, and it's like this. This wall going back. Peace. Like, this way it gives more people space to get into their desks. Oh, okay. And I'm also closer to the back. That way. Pardon? Yeah. I think I did, like, a one week where I, I face a different way every day. Just to mess with the people who like the order. Olivia Brown gets really thrown off. <laughs> Question. No, P, Q? I believe it's just six. Consider that N. So that's that's intersection. So correct. Right. So if I was looking at PQ, the intersection is. PUQ would be everything like in both circles. Does that make sense? Let me bring you out the full copy of it. 